Hello and welcome, I'm Stormo, and uh, picking up right where we left off. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I forgot to do something, and I don't think I did. So, uh, we're going we're gonna to press ahead. Um, I might have, uh, this is a, a new recording session uh, after the first two episodes, so uh, maybe, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know. Um, we're going to press ahead um, with this. And uh, we're going to head... You know what? I haven't forgotten to do anything, but I maybe should have rest... No, we did rest, didn't we? Yes. Okay. Right. Oh. Okay. Maybe I should just start this whole episode again. Hi, I'm Stormo. This is Skyrim. We're going up that mountain there. Um, also, I was... When I was editing the first two episodes, I noticed that the, uh, the camera was a little bit janky. Um, I apologize for that. It's a first-person game. Um, and that's kind of going to be the thing with any kind of first-person game. So I'll try to keep it a little bit smoother when I'm playing, not flick it around as much. Skyrim isn't a game that requires super fast reflexes, not like a uh, Doom or anything like that, where you need to be really quick at, um, at your, uh, uh, sort of reaction times and stuff like that. But that's not to say it's not a game where sometimes I'm going to get the camera all over the place. So I'm going to try and hold the camera, um fairly uh, solidly. Also, the other thing uh, I want to do with this playthrough, I don't know if I'm going to, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this in the previous videos or not, but... Um, oh, there you go. So, so doing the companions thing in the last episodes already had that impact on, on the game, and I'll explain how that works, uh, in case you're not aware of it. Um, but, yeah, uh, the other thing... Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, th that's right, yeah. Uh, one one of my plans for this playthrough was not to... Um, not to use the fast travel feature. Um, I like to walk everywhere, but it's quite possible that I will chop down episodes if they have a lot of walking, or I will just admit defeat and use fast travel. Um, the main reason I like to avoid the fast travel feature is that stuff can happen while you're walking around that you will miss uh, if the if you're fast traveling. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, doesn't happen. Also, I've got a little bit of breeze coming through my uh, window at the moment, so there might be some very slight wind noise in my mic. I don't have a uh, windshield for my mic. Um, I do for my other mic, the one that I've been using a little bit, the one I used uh, for my PAX videos and... I've been recording daily gaming news uh, with it, but that mic um, is a mic I actually have to hold. Uh, hey, remember when we killed those? Um, that mic is a mic I actually have to hold uh, in my hand when I'm actually recording it. There, I have no way of sort of attaching it or mounting it to anything at the moment. Uh, so I can't put it in front of my face quite as easily. And it is quite a directional little mic, that one. So I'm relying on my headset mic for these videos at the moment. If I come up with a solution to use the other mic, I will do that, though. Um, anyway, this is... Is this where we need to go? Yeah, this is uh, where we need to go. There's like a pathway up here. It's a bit rough, uh, this pathway, but there is a pathway. There's some uh, bandits that we'll have to deal with soon, too. Um, and some doggos. There we go, we'll take that guy out. I uh, didn't really need to do that, but I suppose... Um, what I actually want is my bow. So, we'll use our bow. Uh, I remember why I had the other things equipped, so that's cool. Just put it away for now. Tend not to like to run around with my weapon equipped, so... I'll just quick save, because there's some bandits coming up here. Um... I think I probably also have mentioned previously that I will quick save a lot. Um, but yeah, there's some uh, bandits. Uh, you can see a tower just in the distance there. Um, is what we're coming up upon. Uh, if I get a bit sneaky, we'll see if we can't get some surprise hits in. Although I don't have the uh, don't have the bonuses for sneaking yet, but this will give me uh, skill, which is always nice. So uh, there we go. How close do I want to get before I start throwing arrows at these guys? No, oh, we've been detected already. What's detected us? Not those guys. No, I'm getting detected. Ah, oh, there we go. What do you think my chances are of making that shot? Really good! But it wasn't a sneak attack. Oh, it was this guy detecting me. 
Okay, so when you do bow and arrow in Skyrim, a lot of it is actually that. Did I hit him? I did hit him. Um, the arrow does does obey uh, very specific physics in this game. It does actually arch. Uh, come on. And the other thing with Skyrim that we just saw there is the uh, action shots, um, which I love. So. Uh, is that a better bow? That is a better bow than the one I've got. And those arrows, but none. I think his armor might be. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check just while we're here. Um, I'm going to be doing this a lot uh, in the early game. Uh, yeah, so I was using a long bow with damage of seven. The hunting bow has damage of eight, so that can be my favorite bow now, and that can be unfavorited. And uh, I have to remember uh, to keep an eye on my weight limit uh, while we're here. Make that number one. Uh, and uh, what what did I say? Uh, what was my armor? Uh, just do that. <laughs> I, I, I keep forgetting that there's like the tab thing you can hit. Um, so I'm wearing the Imperial... Oh, oh no, that's right. I'm wearing the... Uh, okay, so it's the same. And why am I wearing uh, Imperial Light Helmet? Because that's 13 and that's 15. So that's better. So Torturer's Hood is the better option for our head. Um, Skyrim being Skyrim, there's no actual uh, way to hide your head armor. Um... You're probably going to hear me say Skyrim being Skyrim a lot, because this is one of those games that has a, a lot of idiosyncrasies. Um, yeah, it's good fun. It's good fun. I like, I like this game. I like this game in spite of its flaws. I was going to say there's a dude up there. Don't know why I'm still sneaking. I can... Ow. Oh, he blocked it. Didn't block that, though. See, so those are basically critical strikes. You can turn those off if you want. Um, he's wearing heavy armor, which I don't really want because I want to get the light armor bonuses, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, that steel sword might be worth picking up, though. Uh, yeah, uh, and if, you, if you're unfamiliar with Skyrim, it uses a weight-based inventory uh, system. So uh, if I go into here, I have steel sword, and I have... Iron Dagger and... St was I just dual wielding... No, I was using the Imperial Sword. Um, and what I can then do is set... Uh, I'm doing it wrong. I, I remember. Okay. <sighs> Whew, that's how to do it. So if I set both those as favourites. And if I go Q, I can... Go uh, make that two, and we'll make. Uh, didn't go up there. Oh, whatever. Make that two, and we'll make that f three, four, ah, uh, five. Ah, there. It's rough, but that's how we're going to do it for the moment. Um, yeah. There is a weapon quick switch, isn't there? I don't remember. Grab both those. Don't need the minor magic here, but whatever. Uh, head back down. Um, hang on, is that not... Oh, no, 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 it's not. Okay, whew. Yeah, so there's this little uh, tower here that we can just clear out uh, for funsies, which we've now done. But the main way to go is actually still this way. Um, as we get higher and higher into this mountain. The sun's been coming out too while we've been doing all this. Okay, so as we get up here, we'll get to Bleak Falls Barrow. It's just up around there. Um... I think there's a weather effect that's specific to this barrow that causes the sky to get very grey and it gets very foggy. Um, I don't know if that's the case or not. Uh, or if it's just that I've always come here when it's been grey and foggy. Getting closer and closer to that uh, first level. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. We are being noticed. So let's get our arrows together. I can't sneak attack this guy. We didn't, but we did get the level. Ah. Gold fur armor, hide boots. The fur armor is exactly as good as the armor I've got now, so. It's not, uh, not worth 
Ah, come on. Oh, I hit him. Come on. I mentioned we'd be playing this as a first person shooter, didn't I? Well, that's my light armor up. Where, where is he? Oh, damn it. Okay, that guy's down there. Where's the guy up there? Hit him? That hit him. Okay, let's take this guy out. Come on. There we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Arrow cam. Oh. Right in the arm. Okay, that's all those guys dealt with. Uh, he had some cooked beef. Oh, grab that cooked beef. Has some Nord meat. I won't grab that. Got some iron arrows, though, so that's good. And our hunting bow is fine. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's head up here while I just play with my phone for a second. Um, and I will... There's a couple more guys. There's a couple of things around here as I recall too. Uh, maybe not. Is there not a chest on one of these? Or some kind of box of things on one of these? Or have I always dreamt that? I've apparently always dreamt that, so uh, apparently that's not correct. Oh, no, 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 I know what's happening. I'm confusing this with a location in Elder Scrolls Online. Um, there's a place you can go in the early stages of Elder Scrolls Online that does have a similar design to this. Um, and it has, like, stuff to do on little sort of outposts like that. Where is this area over here? What's over there? Nothing? Let's, let's hope it's nothing. Let's have a look at that uh, glorious uh, Skyrim quality level of detail in the distance there. Those trees just sort of floating in nothing in the distance. It, it's better because of the mods, and um, I don't know if it's possible to do this with a uh, special edition, but in the original day game you could um, you could alter the uh, any file to increase the amount of distance the game would draw at full detail. Okay, so, uh, I don't need to quick save there, but we're going to, uh, Bleak Falls, uh, which will be good fun for us. Um, so, we'll do that. And, and this will probably be the majority of this video, uh, from this point. It'll be a couple of videos, actually, because this is a big place. Uh, well, this is what you call environmental storytelling. There's a dead guy, and there's two dead skeevers. There's two more people over there. Um, before we go any further though, we have something else we need to do. We need to go here. Okay, so, um, we can level up our health, our magic, and our stamina. We'll start with stamina, um, because we're going to need stamina for various things that we'll be doing. Uh, and then I've got, already got, uh, enough points in light armor that I can actually get custom fit if I want, um, Oh no, I can't. I, even though, oh yeah, no, that's right. The the bonus applies, but you can't do the thing. Um, we're gonna go with yes, overdraw. Um, so we'll get that first. That's our first point spent, um, and that increases our archery. I did already look at that guy. There's two people here. Let's see if we can't sneak attack one of them. Yeah. Whoa, that was a lot of sneak. Okay, so the subtitles didn't quite come up because I didn't get close enough to them then, but if I do this... Oops. He's dead. We're going to get another level very shortly. Ah, damn it. Oh, that's right, you can do this too. Um, sometimes an enemy will go into a down state where they, like, beg for mercy and stuff. That is an upgrade by one armor. Is it worth it? Is it worth the wait? Wow, that was terrible. Um, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll take that. So, I'll equip that. 
because uh, apparel. Because any upgrade is an upgrade, right? Uh, where's fur armor? I've got fur boots too. Are they better than the Imperial light boots? No. But the fur armor is better than our uh, Imperial studded. Im oh no, it's the same. Huh. Well then, maybe I won't take that. I'll uh, drop that then. Okay, I thought I thought this was 26, not 27. But uh, woodcutter's axe, that's nice. Uh, did the other guy have anything on him? Where is the other guy? Is that the guy I killed? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's that's basically everything. Um, can rest in these bedrolls now because they are uh, not owned anymore. Um, we'll unlock this chest. There we go. Easy. Unlocking this game is very easy. Uh, I don't need the other things from that chest, so we'll just grab that. And we'll head down. Oh boy, spiders. Good fun spiders. What's in that? Nothing. Um... I mentioned the other day that I'm running a couple of mods. Normally I run uh, a fair number of mods, which actually did render this game unusable on this computer for a while because I ran so many mods it would just crash when it booted. Um, and I, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out why that was, but I couldn't. Um, but anyway, one of the mods I used to run a lot was a mod called uh, Sky UI. Um, which I don't know if it's available for special edition yet, but it overhauls the uh, GUI to be a lot more friendly to keyboard and mouse use uh, on the PC. It's a really good mod. It does require using an extension called Skyrim Script Extender. Um, oh, hello. And Skyrim Script Extender is a very, very... Oh, that's right, we're going to have to kill this guy. We just have to sit here and watch. So that's what happens to that guy. Um, so, uh, this this room is a puzzle, as you might have figured out. Uh, fortunately for us, we're a little bit more invincible than that guy. I'm not going to need a torch, because I'm not running any of the lighting mods that make this game terrifyingly dark. Um, so you, you can see up here, there's a pattern, there's these symbols here. You've got uh, snake and whale and snake. And so what we need to do over here is uh, press that. Snake, snake, whale... Then we hit the lever. I'll quick save just in case. And that will open our door. We'll go through. Uh, we'll nick that soul gem. We're, we're not going to do a lot of the soul gem. Well, we are going to try and do some of the soul gem stuff. Um, but uh, there's a lot of it we won't really do. This is a skill book, as I recall. Yes, pickpocket increases. Good. Um, I generally don't do a lot of pickpocketing. Um, when I played this game, but it might happen. It might. It might. So we'll see how we go. Um, come down here. Oh, hello. Oh, I was I was not prepared for a bunch of skeevers. Uh, I might actually uh, might actually just use melee weapons. I didn't set my sword, my two hands up properly for these guys. Get those combos out. Okay, we'll go back to the bow. Uh, Skeevers usually only drop meat, so not that fussed about them. Uh, and we'll head down here. I'll go back into sneak mode just in case. Although, I think Skeevers are kind of uh, one of those things. I'll oh, grab that. Um, we probably won't use it, but it's worth picking up. It doesn't weigh much, so. Okay, that was a guy. There's a lot of uh, spider webs around here, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a reason there's a lot of spider webs around here, by the way. Um, need my melee weapons for a second. Come in here. Giant freaking spider. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm really sorry. Keep in mind, this is only a wounded frostbite spider. The good news about being uh, the way I am is that I can basically range this guy. But I'm going to say girl, because big spiders are always female. Male spiders never get big. So this will be a girl spider. I am killing it, mate. Oh, got a little bit close. 
Yeah, uh, Skyrim's not a great game for the arachnophobic. Uh, I do know, for a fact, that this game has a mod uh, that replaces spiders with bears. I mean, it has a mod that replaces um, dragons with Thomas the Tank Engine too, but... Uh, the one we care about is the spiders with bears mod. We're not running it. We're going to have to deal with spiders in all the glory, so... I do apologise. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start putting, like, spider warnings up uh, on videos that have them. Oh yeah, there's egg sacks here if you want spider eggs, which I think are an alchemy ingredient. Uh, maybe. That guy had a lockpick, so I'm uh, going to get him down first. Uh, we'll... Dude, over here. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Right. Okay. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? You asshole. So the thing about this is that it doesn't actually end well for this guy. What was that? Um oh. The Draugr are one of my least favourite enemies in this game. There's a lot of these guys you got to deal with. So, oh boy, let's, let's melee it up. Ah, where's where's my where's my dual wield? Oh Jesus! Oh God! Uh oh, we've we've got big problems. Uh, Okay. Okay, whoa. Just uh, use some of my health potions. There we go. Whew, that went well. Um, we'll grab the gold, the arrows. We don't need the great swords. Great using bow. Uh, and. I think that's all of them, and I think our friend here got uh, killed. By the way, don't step on that panel because that will kill you. Um, I, as I once discovered to my cost. Arvel's journal. Does this guy have better? No, it's not really that great, is it? Um, cool. So, uh, we leveled up again, so we'll do that again. Um, and I will grab more stamina, because I'm going to need more stamina. Uh, and I will grab... Uh, I'm at 20 archery, which means I can actually grab the second rank of overdraw. Um, archery is something I'll put points into early on. Um, we'll, we'll probably go archery, light armor, and sneaking early on. So a thing that happens with the detection in this game is if there is anything that can possibly see you, um, it'll flip to this detected thing. Now what we can do, I think, is shoot that guy to wake him up. Oh, this is one of these guys. Okay. Let's just keep walking back and shooting him. Right. I just realised as I was walking back there that I was getting dangerously close to uh, the... Um, dangerously close. I want that. Uh, and I want to set my dual wield set up properly too. So I'm just going to do that right now. Where's our Ancient Nord Sword and Imperial Sword? Or Steel Sword? Imperial Sword is 9. Okay, so that's what I want. So I want that, and I want that, and that wants to be our... Okay, that's not how that works. Ah, uh, let's find the Ancient... Uh, no, I want to take that. I want to unfavorite that, actually. Ah, oh, that's what I should do. Yes, I should uh, unfavorite. Hang on a second, guys. Just got to do some quick favorite menu. So where's that iron deck? Unfavorite that. Favorite those two. Okay, set that up. So that is number two. Three, four. Right. Right. Inventory. Uh, it's going to be a lot of that. Uh... getting any sneak attacks. Oh boy, where did he come from? Yeah. 
Right, that's those guys dealt with. Don't need the shield. I'm starting to think sword and shield wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, iron arrow. I've got the bow dude here. Once we get the uh, upgraded bow abilities where we can zoom in and stuff, it'll be a lot more fun. Like a lot of RPGs, uh, oh, ancient Nord arrows and an ancient Nord bow, that is what we wanted. So that immediately becomes our new weapon, because that's a vast improvement over the hunting bow. Uh, oh, it's a one improvement. That was a bit bigger than that, but okay, that, that'll do. Uh, and set that as one. Cool. Right, okay. Um, it's a much cooler looking bow too. Oh, that's not the way to go. Oh, that's right, this is the way to go. Okay. Just use a uh, potion. Yeah. I love how the chain to stop that is on this side. Now, I seem to recall there might be a drogger here. Nope, good. Whew. Let's quick save before anything bad happens to us. Oh, hello. It was a good thing I said that right then, wasn't it? Right, that guy's done. Um, I could probably actually do something else too while I'm thinking about it. Is uh, I could increase my damage by... Switching to the Ancient Nord Arrows for the moment, um, while I've still got a bunch. Let's not actually use one accidentally though. Ah, this bit's fun. So if I do this... I'll just instantly kill that guy, but sure. Uh, but you can probably hear that things are emerging around here. Yeah, okay, so what I need to do is... Not that. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Um, and I can't actually go forward until uh, that fire goes out, which is now done, which is good. Don't need that. Oh, oh, you didn't die. That's annoying. I mean, you see, getting that one point has dramatically upped our um, bow damage, and then increasing the, the bow itself has helped a lot. The Ancient Nord Arrows and stuff are doing good work for us right now, so... But yeah, do, doing that is kind of fun. Anytime in this game where you can set something on fire, you should probably try and set it on fire. That's uh, obviously the way to go. We'll head up here. And we got the uh, Dragon Claw before too, which is nice. Always handy to have that kind of a thing on us. Okay, okay, there's uh, this guy up here. Sneak attacked. Is there another one? Don't see another one. What's he got in him? Battle Axe. What's in this chest? Gold, Magicka, Iron Arrows, and an Iron Dagger of Souls, which we'll actually pick up. Uh, and then we have to go this way. So head over here. Oh boy. There's a lot of cave in this area, so... Should be good to get... Oh, I know where we are. Okay. So just about here there's another chest and garnet gold and another scroll of fireball. It's this area over here which I think does lead uh, somewhere. Yes it does. Um, so we head down this way. That's right, it's the back way to get into here. Now was there another guy? I don't remember. Pretty sure there was not. Silver and got. We'll grab that too. 
So I think that's the other way you come into here. Um, so y you can come either way, but you've got to get down here. Primarily because there is a dead skeever. And a chest and a lot of uh, skeletons. Oh no, that other way is the way we've got to go. That's right. Because there's no way down through here, so... Useful. Okay. So, lockpicking is a skill you can put points into in this game, um, and it's probably worth doing that a little bit, but maybe not as much of a priority as um, your sort of major skills. Um, and if you're good enough at lockpicking, you don't need to put a lot of points into it. Um, it does help, um, definitely, especially later on. Um, and I think lockpicking is probably one of the best ways to play, to best skills to have in this game, so. Okay, back on uh, familiar ground after that. Head up through here. And I think we might uh, leave this video here for the moment, because we've gone for a little while. We'll, ah, here we go. Okay, so we're going to go in here, we're going to take this guy out. That was a sneak attack, can I get another one in? Can I get another one in? Can I kill him before he hits me? No. But we did get the three sneak attacks in, uh, so that's nice. Uh, so I'll level up, and we'll call this a video from there. Um, I'll go three stamina and then one health, so that seems like a plan. Archery. Do I have enough archery to go? No, I don't. So we're going to have to go somewhere else, which would probably be light armor or sneak. Um, hmm. This gives me survivability, and this gives me, like, not really being detected, so it's kind of kind of a toss-up between the two. I think for the moment we'll go light armor, um, and get that armor rating increase, because that, that's just a massive benefit to our survivability, so we'll do that for the moment. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we're going to leave, uh, leave it there for this video, so uh, just a uh, quick save again, and uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.